see when you want the truth and when you want the facts you better watch no filter because i got your back ain't no ducking ain't no dodging ain't no scheming ain't no hiding because i got that work you want to get this work you want to get this work you about to get this work What's up, everybody? Welcome. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to No Filter News and Talk. And it's your girl, Ingrid. Make sure you guys check out NoFilterNewsAndTalk.com um, for all the latest updates. Anything that I'm pretty much doing, make sure, make sure you guys check it out. And if you got something that you want to tell me, you got a tip, you got... Um, you want to inbox me, you want to talk to me about advertising inf information... As far as advertising on any one of my social media platforms, just hit me up on my email. It's going to be in the description box. So just, you know, don't hesitate. Hit me up. And if you have not did so, make sure you like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. You already know how to get how the game go. You already know what to do. So just do it. Okay? Now let's get into this video. Because I have literally recorded this video about six times. I had to delete everything and then start over about six times. And we already know what YouTube is doing. YouTube constantly keep messing with my precious channel. Because, I mean, they just love me so much. You know, they hold up my likes. They hold up my views. I mean, they even delete my videos. So, it's all good. I'm not going nowhere. Um, I'm still standing for show but um let's get into this video so listen guys it was such a big weekend for the for the marathon clothing store that's right they did a pop-up shop in new york and the people came out by the boatloads i'm talking about the people in new york showed up and showed out and that was so good you know and it was so good to see on pictures i was able to see um Black Sam looking well, looking good. I was able to see Jay Stone was there. I was able to see Adam, all money in Adam, or is it Adam? However, it is, it was just so good to see them doing well after they just had this major, major, major loss, you know. So, um, big shout out to you guys and all of you guys that showed up, and, and it was good to see Sloss and Bruce. They had him dressed in um Santa Claus. <laughs> he was dressed as a Santa Claus, but it was so good. He seemed like he had a good time, and I don't know about you guys, but it just warms my heart. Like, like it really does. I, I know I have said it over and over again, this case has been weighing heavy on me. It's not about a view. It's not about a like. It's not about clout. It's just the fact that the way he was murdered, it, it really bothered me. And if you have an ounce of human decency in your body, it will bother you too. I'm not so numb to the numb to the fact that death don't bother me. Death still bothers me. No matter how much I see, it still bothers me. And with this whole Nipsey thing, it really bothered me. So to see the family there with smiles and and just you know just chilling that warmed my heart now who i didn't see there which i don't know but i didn't see samantha mama daddy you know i didn't see those people there maybe they were there and i just didn't see but um i hope to see you know i hope the pictures will come out where they were there to to support i didn't see samantha post it you know about the pop-up shop i didn't see that on her story or on her um instagram i just didn't see it maybe it's on another channel but um well i'm gonna keep my eyes open for that okay now let's move along oh my god i so much have changed like I, I'm doing this video and I wanted to do this video to talk about the All Money in BH interview that he did with No Jumper. And the interview was good. It was really good. You know why? Because looking at the Jay Stone interview, and there's no competition. They are brothers. I know there's no competition. But Jay Stone, I figured that's how he got his name. It, it was just kind of stone cold. He's like, I'm not, you're not finna get nothing out of me that's it you know and he kind of played it safe a little bit that's just my opinion okay 
he kind of played it safe with safe words. It was like yes or no answers. It wasn't in detail the way that we wanted. You know what I'm saying? But I figured that's his character. And I, he's pretty much probably nobody to play with. <laughs> you know, it's just straight to the point. Look, say what you need to say, bro, and let's get out this interview. That's what I kind of took off with Jay Stone. But the All Money NBH interview, it was a little bit different. And I'm glad that he did that interview because now we see them talking. Okay. Be, I, I don't know about you guys, but it was it's so frustrating when you got Nipsey hustle being murdered and nobody's saying nothing around him like nobody's saying nothing and i i guess they might have been talking amongst themselves but like we absolutely had nothing to go off of i kind of i was frustrated about that you know but now we have them talking you know shit talk to me tell me what you feel I, I want to know how you feel. Like, is it bothering you? What What's good? Because don't try to be numb to what's going on when the world is in an uproar. Y'all got to tell me something. Show me something. That's just how I was feeling, right? So that's what I was able to get with the All Money NBH interview. He did lay a few things out, which is we already know that WAC 100 is a clown. Absolutely. He got to get a view and a like off of Nipsey Hussle name. You know, off of Nipsey's name, he, he, he constantly have Nipsey's name in his mouth. And somebody needs to shut his mouth, period. But anyway, but uh, I like the fact that All Money In called him a clown and Game is a clown. He was like, Game, cool, but he a clown. He a clown, you know, because Nipsey, other people did have pro have the name prolific but nipsey made it popping he made it popular that's that's it you know and the game should have contacted family about it don't just try to ride the wave bro but anyway so i'm glad that he spoke on that and he also spoke on eric holder he also spoke on eric holder saying that he don't know how why was he even able to get close to bro? That was one of my big questions. Why was he able to get close to him? I didn't understand that. You know, and like he said, Eric Holder, it was some talk about him snitching. And he would pop in. You know, people would see him. Then he would pop out. Then he would pop back in, you know, in the neighborhood. People would see him and then they didn't. Then they just then he just started popping into, you know, back up in the neighborhood. And then he did this. So that's letting us know that Eric is still a suspect. Okay? So he kind of confirmed that, you know, he feel that Eric is the shooter. Um, and saying that he wasn't around all the time. So I even believe like I'm sticking to the same thing that I've been on I'm sticking to the same thing that I I've been on and I've been saying that I don't believe Eric and Nipsey had no beef Jay Stone was like I didn't even know dude where do I you know where you come from this is what Jay Stone said now of course that could have been just a play for him to say because he's just not finna give you no information I ain't finna tell you what I'm finna do I'm not gonna tell you nothing so I get it I get it with him but they all got question marks as to Nipsey ain't had no beef with this dude. That's what I'm looking at. Nipsey have not had no beef. Eric Holder, in my opinion, in my humblest opinion, Eric Holder was paid to do a job. Period. He was paid to do a job. And I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to say it. It's a rat in the camp. It's a rat in the camp. Now, I don't know if Cowboy was the rat, if Rempa was the rat, because that showed what they tried to play. They tried to play him on the stand. Eric, remember? Remember when I read that transcript to y'all? Remember Eric Holder, before he left, he turned around and gave Rempa some dap and, like, put something in his hand. And then he walked away. Is it Rempa? Yeah, I guess that's his name. 
you know, I'm going to call him Running Man. Anybody correct me on the proper way to say his name, I'm going to start saying Running Man. <laughs> but, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what, like, so they tried to play him like that. You know, was it a setup? I'm just saying, it doesn't look good. He also said that after Nipsey got shot, it was like two hours had passed. But he also said he wasn't there. He was, you know, in Dallas and, you know, on a flight or whatever. But he said that it was like two hours that they after he was shot that they pronounced him dead. Two hours later. Okay, now y'all remember when I did the OKC Connection video, if you have not seen it, go check it out. And that OKC Connection video, you remember they were right there on the scene with candles. Old girl said he was gone. They was right there on the scene with candles like he was gone, but he wasn't even pronounced dead till like two hours later. That was one of the things that made me say, hmm. But all in all, it was a very good interview. I was glad to see him and, and kind of see him in a different light because guess what? I don't know them. I don't know Nam one of them, but I was, you know, I was able to, you know, kind of just feel the vibe out. Feel, I was able to feel him out a little bit. But, okay, so as I, I, I had did this video like several times, but... In the midst of me doing this video last night, like I was supposed to bin drop this video, guys. But I was able to speak with one of all money in. Oh my God. Yes, I would never, I would not reveal who I spoke with. Um, I, I won't do that because I know he's in the gang. I know his position. And even though he didn't tell me not to reveal his identity, I'm not going to reveal his identity. But I spoke with um, one of all money in, y'all. Last night, I was literally shaking, okay? Because I don't know why, but I say this all the time. Sundays are really hard for me. I, I don't know why is it that Nipsey spirit weighs so heavy on me. And I guess on Sundays, like, it really, he really bothers me. So let me tell you a little bit about what I've been experiencing with myself lately. You know, when you're, when you kind of, when you be still and allow God to work within you, you know what I'm saying? When you be still and like silence everything around you, you begin to hear more clear from God, the creator. Okay. Now, let, let me tell you a little bit about me, okay? I have dreams and I have visions. That is a gift. I don't, I, I don't read other people. I'm not a psychic. I'm not into that. I'm just, I'm just starting to tap into uh, one of my gifts, and I believe we all have gifts. And so I'm very sensitive in my spirit uh, about certain things. So, y'all already know, I told y'all before how Nipsey comes to me in my dreams. And so, I guess this is why, maybe somebody can help me and tell me. <laughs> because I guess this is why Sundays is so hard for me. Because it's like I feel like his presence and stuff on Sunday. Or is it the day that it happened? I don't know. But Sundays is very um hard for me. And I get real sad. So, um, I'm not saying that for clout and, you know, I really don't know why I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing, but I just thought I should share that with you guys. <sighs> but this is part one, part two, I'm going to come right back because I got to tell y'all who I spoke with. I spoke with somebody in all money and, and, but I'm recording this off my phone. So if you have iMovie on your phone, they're going to give you 15 minutes. So I got to come back. Peace.